Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current polls, trends, and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed the endless eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! cardboard market watch addiction, guys. Because it's an addiction, guys. You guys already know we're all addicts here, man. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> Yo, the channel continues to grow. Uh, make sure you subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Ring that notification bell. Almost at 2.3K. Guys, 2.5K. Three Megaton giveaway just around the corner. Another giveaway just around the corner once again. And then um, our members. One of our members is getting a free Megaton. A giveaway prize. So stay tuned for that. Immediately, let's start off today with cards that I want to be picking up right now now cards that i'm looking to pick up why because they're cheap they're cheap show me cheap cards jay that's what i like i like cheap cards you know what i mean so that's what we're here for but before we get to the actual cards um you know cheap cards that you should grab right now the pot collection it came out here on tcg player i'm waiting for the pictures you know to dive in a little bit deeper into this even though i mean there's only so much right that you can you know limited amount of pot cards per se but just two that i wanted to highlight here real quick um we can see moray of greed really like this one why because uh water archetypes decks monsters you know cards and things of that nature tend to cycle in and out of the meta i won't lie the last time waters were relevant when was it it, it might have been a while now you know i mean but marin says some you know topped here and there i don't know if they use this card particularly but you guys get the gist um this card i really like it used to be worth a lot of money when it only had a couple of prints you know um we have a super rare that used to be money from let's see we're astro pack this card look still market price of five billies of course going down because now we have ultra rare max rarity rarity bump per se but back in the day there weren't many prints and this card used to always be money so as an ultra rare max rarity i really do like moray of greed um I, I like this card i like the artwork the effect is broken um you know strong draw power for the water archetype so definitely one to keep in mind from this pot collection another one is pot of acquisitiveness i really do like this card i like it a lot why because um the super rare had, was already worth a couple of shekels so now add to that the fact that you're getting a rarity bump max rarity on this specific pot card as well everyone forgets about this card you know again target three banished monsters shuffle all three into the deck then draw with one card is broken just three Three banished monsters it doesn't have to be yours it could be your opponents you know i believe so right um and it's just broken Th this card again limited amount of supply um but i would be coming in i want my playset man i don't know man it's hard to price these cards because they're so hard to get so maybe at these prices maybe they're all right you know what i mean so definitely wanted you guys to keep those two cards in mind then we have unending nightmare from maximum crisis first at og print what a card this card i'm looking to get my personal copies i don't have this card anymore and this card used to be worth a couple of shekels you know it used to be worth seven billies lately it used to be worth four billies and now it's dumped back down to under twos for a couple of deals here but after these deals are gone it quickly goes back up to three billies and eventually 350s only four pages 31 listings and look people are coming in and grabbing play sets and these people are smart why because we got to look ahead like we always say on the channel we have to look ahead and honestly um this card again continuous spells are coming back into the fray into the meta you know so cards like cosmic cyclone which i talked about endless amount of times on you know our market watches and now unending nightmares another one that is just a floodgate that stops continuous spells um feel spells just um it's so good it's so good you know uh to to get rid of face up spell and trap cards on the field and of course you do have more budget options and i believe one of those is holographic as well maybe as an ultra i think so um and what said did it come in let's see here real quick uh, yeah right here battles of legend relentless, relentless revenge so you have excuse me a card that um excuse me guys that has ultra rare here holographics and commons and this and that so it's readily available per se but look at this common market price of a billy 50 that's crazy but yeah this is what i would be targeting here the max rarity secret rare at these current prices two three shekels i believe this card is definitely going to five sooner rather than later and then definitely double digits as the ag ov cards come out horus cards you know use continuous spells and traps and things of that nature this card is broken i remember this used to be cited against me all the time when i used to play true draco 
cycles and it's going to happen again it's going to happen again of course it's speculation you never know things might not pan out but honestly this is my opinion and i think we'll be doing a fresh off the flashback on this card you know if i could find it because i do so many videos it's hard to find cards when i'm attempting to pull them up for fresh off the uh, flashbacks but you guys get the gist great card make sure you guys keep it in mind then heading into the structure deck guys that's the talk of the town right now the structure deck just released um man tcg player there we go the crimson king structure deck um just released guys we've been talking about the structure deck for a while and it's finally here a lot of people are creating shenanigans you know and and, and synchro summoning all over the place and things of that nature but i want to focus real quick on a call that i made again it hasn't fully panned out it's not like the card is five bucks double digits and none of that nature but it already essentially 2x and uh, when, when you can get 100 percent in any market you have to talk about it so 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 let's listen in let's listen in Who, who's this guy man look at that 55 likes the community's booming this 1k views let's listen in <laughs> that i want you guys to not take for granted a lot of cheap cards in the markets that today they're cheap you know and they might cost you know a couple of more shekels down the road and we've been talking about this card a resonator call you know it's getting future support um you know resonators and synchros with the structure deck coming along soon so yeah we were talking about this card under a billy and you see the first initial spike a lot of a little bit of a retracement uh back down to the main but a lot of bullish consolidation here before the next possible next leg up to take us to the previous all-time high of two dollars and twenty cents and yeah under 100 listings here we see the card a couple of deals under a billy but after those are gobbled up the the card quickly goes up to a billy 35 and once those are gone then it goes to a billy 50s and eventually two bucks a pop so yeah i mean right now you can find a couple of one ofs here a couple of deals but even at you know four here i'm um, at a billion some change don't let this card be two threes maybe even fives if it doesn't get reprinted inside the structure deck it might get a super rare if it does then you know but this is still the max rarity version looks beautiful from ghost from the past hard card to get and uh, yeah, it's not as easy to get. You know what I mean? So for these current prices, I really do like this card. I have my R09 ready that I got at under a billy. And I just wanted to highlight and, you know, show this card again. We talked about this card a while back, a couple of weeks ago. Just always like to go back and highlight, highlight some of those cards. Same. Highlight some of those cards. Guys, guys, guys. Man, that was just two weeks ago. The two, three weeks ago, we made that video. And uh, man, why? In the, there we go. Guys, look, it got a common reprint got a common not a super so it got a common look at all these commons you have a rare here then all commons and an ultra max rarity 45 listings here you go to the card guys guys we see the chart still a lot of consolidation what does this what does this mean that i expect still a second leg up to occur that's when i'm selling i'm not selling yet here on the fresh off the press community we have a strategy it's called the second leg up mythology i'm gonna be creating courses probably in the future about that because it pans out too much it, yeah we identified a pattern here that's what we do that's what we're waiting on guys second leg up mythology jay how do you say that you guys get the gist look card is two bucks two billies already when we talked about it in that video it was a billy 19 but we talked about this card when it was 80 cents 70 cents. i just couldn't find go way back into the archives to find that but the ogs you guys know the deal we've been talking about this it's too easy it's literally too easy guys literally like literally guy it's just man and you might be jay the card only went up a couple of shackles maybe a buck why you acting all that this that and the other it's just guys it's all about percentages it's all about pluses and profits and if you bought at a billy you're up 100 percent. you're up 2x if you put a hundred dollars into this card which most of us didn't let's be real that's fine you you have 200 dollars. i put 10 bucks in actually less and now i'm at 20 bucks but that's fine because the card is not done going up in my humble opinion yes you have a wall of china massive wall of china almost over 100 copies here at two bucks you're right but then after that wall of china leaves you know the field per se of the markets the card it has a lot of one ofs and then it's a four billy card that's 2x so you're telling me after these look guys the demand for this deck and and it's it's hype you know a lot of people are coming in buying this card look you can see it right here you can see it a lot of people coming in getting their copies look at this <laughs> so this person bought 50 copies at two billies you know he's he could have bought those same 50 copies at a billy so now he spent a hundred dollars instead of 50 literally we're talking about math we're talking about facts we're talking about evidence you can see it here this person because he doesn't watch my channel i mean i don't know he could have bought this car 50 copies at a book probably under 
probably under. And he could have spent 50 bills. Now he spent 100 bills, you know, but he's probably waiting on that 2x, you know, when the card, re card reaches $4. But guys, it's all about preserving that capital, you know, that purchasing power. And right now, listen in. This card, this is called bullish consolidation. Jay, what is bullish consolidation? On a chart is when you have a low, you have the first spike, and then the chart goes sideways. It consolidates. It doesn't dump back down and crash. It doesn't pump up or spikes yet. It consolidates sideways. Jay, so what happens when we have a bullish consolidation? We expect a second leg up second leg up means that you're consolidating here then you expect that second leg up to revisit the previous all-time highs and if that level gets pierced then we expect five billies you know for this card easy mode easy mode guys God. jay j just move on to the next card i'm glad i have my own nine though i can't wait to get home because we're here still in chilling chilling mcmillan here in cancun mexico but it's time to get home tomorrow this will be my last full day here it's been a blast guys we have tuning tuning this is a card that i would be keeping on my radar still cheap again same deal works with synchro decks and now with the resonator decks ro roaming around things of that nature don't sleep on it don't sleep on it this card you got the rare super cheap um if you need a holographic at, at just over billy the ultras let's analyze that one real quick as we can see here the card has been retracing hard back down to the mean but now the card used to be worth 70 shekels up to four billies down to twos as you can see here with a couple of deals this is where you come back in if you're interested in tuning so if you need this card for your resonator deck or any other synchro deck now in my humble opinion is when i would be looking at this card why because if we clean this up janitor style we can see that the card quickly goes back up to threes down the line and you don't want to be paying a premium if you can get it at under two billies make sure you get that exposure sooner rather than later then a couple of uh cheap cards you know for the ubel archetype support that's coming out um later on this year i believe so uh so shout out to a member of the discord um he mentioned um to look at uh dark beckoning beast let's check this one out you, you saw the common chaos summoning beast and we also have opening of the spirit gates all three of these guys they came in the 2021 tin of ancient battles as higher max rarity or rarity bumps you know what i mean so these are cheap I love cards like these. You come in at quarters, you buy a playset for a buck, you live to fight another day. Really like Chaos Summoning Beast as well. You know, and this one's what? It's 10 cents, guys. Like, it's cheap. You never know if these cards double up to quarters or, you know, go to 50 cents, four or five X. You know what I mean? You never know with these cards. So when they're so cheap, you can come in for a couple of shekels, get a couple of playsets, maybe even an R09, and live to fight another day. Guys, don't forget, link in the description down below where you can find our centralized resources here, our short form content we also have the discord one big happy family forming over there over 150 people joined in don't miss out man 150 people are in there is for a reason a lot of great content over there and discussions about the meta about collecting about mail day about everything don't miss out and shout out to the semi-limited podcast and haver as well i had a blast check out these podcast episodes and we have our very own ygo fresh off the podcast make sure you check it out you know and listen in while you're collecting and sorting out your cards guys also don't forget um to subscribe ring that notification bell really does help out the channel so you can stay informed as well you know for podcast episode releases live stream information and or giveaways we have a giveaway just around the corner make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out it really does help out the channel like the video it also helps out with the algorithm so thank you so much and don't forget to to that none of this content is official financial advice is for entertainment purposes only and again just briefly watching the structure deck you know no pictures nothing uh, you guys know me so right now it just came out let's give it a couple of days so we'll re we will revisit this structure deck later on but a lot of people buying three of these 30 billies building a semi-competitive deck and living to fight another day guys now talking a little bit about the tins um man this tcg player i don't know why he's doing that to me i apologize for this man i guess i'm up jay you open too many tabs jay come on now we have the tins guys there's a couple of cards that i wanted to revisit we made a penny stonk video so usually we went over the cheaper options from the tins but i want to talk about some of the cards that i didn't touch base in that video for the most part because there's so many cards in this product that i want to cover that 
that. I just wanted to highlight a couple of other ones. And yeah, Lubellion, real quick at 10 billies, that's crazy. Um, that is just crazy to me. Um, you know, I expect this card to go up from here because it's still at threes. Um, so this is one, you know, and this one went, went up to 15s, it's down 50%, guys. That's insane. You see, don't buy into the hype, of course. They were threes, so they're still up 100%, you know. Um, but now is the time if you need this card. I need, I want one of just to get access to the card, but man, just so much great value um in here. So let's dig in real quick. We have Exo Sister Packs. This card again got got a reprint. You can see the clear V shape. Used to be threes, went down a, a, a buck fifty, a billy fifty, down fifty percent, and now retrace, retrace back up or spike back up, you know, to the previous highs. And you can see a little bit of a retracement before possibly continuing on up. This card looks beautiful as a prismatic secret rare. You can see here, guys. Man, at 250s, this card eventually it'll be three billies. And if you need this card, if you're going to play the deck, you know, I like to give it a couple of days, a week or two after the product goes out or comes out. But now is the time that if I'm playing Exo Sister, I'm considering it. You know, for seven dollars and fifty cents, you can come here and get a place out of this card for under 10 bucks after tax and things of that nature and prismatic secret just looks beautiful guys i wouldn't be waiting around for this one then we have welcome labyrinth this is one prismatic secret that got a secret rare print in battles of legend monsters revenge i don't know why in the world we would get a secret and then a prismatic like back to back in that way but it is what it is you see the v-shape here used to be 77 cents now up to two bucks with a couple of deals quickly goes up to 250 you have the ones of china here under 50 listings already don't sleep on this card this card card had a single print ultra rare that was 50 billies 50 yes it got overly printed now with multiple prints and multiple sets or products yes you're correct i'm not saying to you know Put, go get all your money in your bank and put it in this no no that's not what i'm saying but if you want to play labyrinth don't need to wait at two billies no need to wait anymore same as packs you can get a playset for under 10 bucks and then you get access to the card and to play the deck that you want that's what i would be doing right now as an investment you know i would be same deal two 250s if you want this card prismatic secret max rarity i love it you know and i might be my buying my playset really soon then ariana the labyrinth servant guys 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 look at look at this man look at it just just just, just stick for me for, for a little bit God, guys this thing has a uh, first that og from tactical masters right guys this card was um <clears throat> multiple times it was 37s and 30s it was an over 30 billy own card guys um here on the fresh off the press community your boy jay said multiple market watches guys i would be selling this card i said guys don't hold this bag you know don't hold this We said the card was going to be a single digi card and most likely under five billies, guys. And uh, you can't make this stuff up. So that's why we do the, fr I didn't do it with this card, but that's why we do the fresh off the flashback. It's just the evidence. We do this from, for most of these cards. Like, uh, guys, I told you, four or five dollars. Sad thing, there's people that probably held this bag. You know what I mean? Because if there's people buying, it's because there's people selling, right? At these prices. man oh man hey the the people that held that bag they're not living to fight another day guys then we have the prismatic secret love this card a billy 78 now bump up this is guys same deal if you want to play labyrinth no need to wait around forget about this card and you don't remember and then you're playing five billies and above for a prismatic secret max rarity because uh labyrinth took over on, on a ycs you know what i mean like don't pay a premium for this card now is when i would start looking at the tins a lot of people are downplaying the possible future value in this product and we don't do that you know when everyone else is saying something you know when the herd is saying oh you know this this trash sucks this trash sucks whoa whoa jay this product sucks and there's no value in it and the tins are trash this year and look there's no card over 15 billies and you know and, and this and that that's all yada yada a lot of noise a lot of noise the markets is always making moves and there's always value 
in these products why because there's people buying and selling there's always a supply there's always a demand fundamental economics and there's a chart and we can analyze charts the facts the evidence these people most people talking you know out of their beep you know what i mean like they're oh man this product sucks you know this and that no evidence base you know what i mean let's hit the, we always like to hit the charts we like to hit the latest sales of demand we like to analyze the quantities and the you know and things of that nature the amount of listings guys and i'm not talking about anyone else in particular i'm talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh community you hear it a lot oh the chins this 25th anniversary you know they're trash and it's not about now yes now the product might be lackluster but just like with the older tins like the 2020 tins abominations prison it's a 30 billy ultra rare you know if you would have been like oh man abominations a buck is trash this and yada 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 you know what i mean like there's always value in these products in my humble opinion and that's our job that's my job to be informed to stay informed to analyze the charts to analyze the data and the evidence and this is a perfect card you know at this, these prices i would get my place set if i want to play the deck and even as, uh, even as an investment i'm looking to get this card oh jay but i picked it up at 229 at 230 and 250 just like you said and the walls of china were there and i picked it up and now it's a billy 50 guys it's long term patience wins this game and you have to think ahead and have that vision then we have lady labyrinth of the silver cat silver castle same deal this is another one i haven't checked let me see the og print now you guys got me curious but uh, under two billies same deal didn't get hit on on the ban list so i would definitely for five billies five six billies a place that that is not bad guys the ogs are around eights when this card the other day was sitting at what 30 40 bill oh, 40 billies a single i told you guys man i've been telling yo none of the people in my community better be having this uh jay but i like the first that oh geez man like i just love how they look and they're beautiful and i'm playing them i'm not yeah i mean if you were playing them and you needed them that's like one exception but some of these people you know or some people out there had them in binders and things that nah man you don't you don't let me just move on this is a card that i would be picking up i need my place that i saw this card at the ycs cancun floor i should have picked it up you know i i i just didn't um and uh, i need it but the good thing is cheap readily available i'm here for a billion some change because this is i mean i don't know i say that i need to pick it up but i have ultimate rares and i'm i definitely caught that bag down so but i still might pick up a play set in case i want to play the adventure package in another deck or with another engine you know so yeah i'm gonna be looking to pick up three of these prismatics at under five billies for a play set you can't go wrong with this one i really do like yes it's overprinted it has a secret in, in monsters revenge and an og ultra and a cr and a ot and and a qcs a bunch of printings that's all good and well but this prismatic secret is the perfect mid max rarity for the current value and the current price then we have hugen the runic wings don't forget about this card yes it's down back is down big you're not around a billy but that's good you get to buy cheap hugan you know people everyone forgot about runix runix is not you know make doing anything in the meta right now and that's true but that's when you come in when it's not doing anything when no one cares about it until someone breaks it back into the meta and this card is five billies and you got them for excuse me for billies and then you're living that good life guys i'm definitely i don't own this card yet but this one that i'm picking up scareclaw lightheart this is the link you know same deal look at that strong v-shaped recovery 67 cents up to a billy already when you see a card up 30 percent in just a couple of days that's an alert you know it's like jay you should look at this card you should show it to your community because it might be a multiple billy card as a prismatic secret max ready i believe so for this version of the card so you want to make sure you get some exposure don't let this card be a couple of shekels before you're paying for a premium without realizing it same for majesty pegasus the draco slayer you know um pendulum support coming down the line you know 44 cents up to a billy as well wow so you can see a double up overnight per se just going up pretty fast this card looks beautiful as a prismatic secret rare it only has two printings i believe so so yeah as a prismatic secret max rarity at a billy is not bad you know i would wait for a second retracement down here before the next leg up we would go in down at that second retracement then we have beyond the pendulum same deal you know we didn't get electromite unbanned on the previous ban list so you want to get some exposure to this card that under a billy is not bad you never know if pendulums make a comeback and this card is worth multiple billies and the last card is to is the united dragon no one's talking about car this card no one's looking at it and you know what i'm looking at again i i look and i see things and i'm looking at things that no one else is paying attention to that's why you guys are here and you guys know it because we find value where no one else does guys the og print 
Look at this card. Look at this card. Before the reprint, it was a single print that was 11 billies. 11 billies, a double digit card. Not bad. Now, due to the reprint, it's still holding strong at three to four billies. Look, holding strong. So when you see that demand, you come to the reprint that is a prismatic secret max rarity, a rarity bump. You come here, you see that it was 53 cents and you see the consolidation near the lows. You buy this card. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm buying these cards. This, you know, I want to place and then I'll nine of this card. Why? Because this is a multiple Billy card down the line. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy, man. Man, man, oh, man. I'm going to leave it at that. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's content. Guys, I'm still here in Cancun, Mexico, just having a good time. Going back home soon. I'll keep you guys in touch. But thanks for all you do. If you made it this far onto, out into the video, make sure you guys uh, um, leave a comment down below. You know, what do you think about today's video? And um, you guys are the straight MVPs. Guys, thank you so much for your time. You're supporting your attention. Stay fresh.